What is going on everyone? Jels from Fitment Industries and I'm here with Dakota from Fitment Industries. And today we're going to be going over the Fitment Industries wheel buying guide or buyer's guide. Now we did a video like this not too long ago with coilovers, like the yep. ultimate coilover buyer's guide. So what we're going to do is we're kind of going to break it down between like price range from like your entry level to like your mid level or intermediate yep. and then up to like your high end, like, like top dream tier, wheels, like dream you know wheels. Saying? And like these are, these are subjective. Um, me and Jell sat down, looked at some of the wheels that are hot right now. Uh, wheels that look good on pretty much about yeah. anything. And uh, yeah, just kind of um, our opinion on what we Wheels are great for those categories. Definitely. So first things first, we're gonna start off with like our entry level wheels. So these are gonna be wheels that are like, if you're not looking to spend like a crazy amount, if you're just looking for something simple, maybe you got like, you know, not a ton of money to spend on wheels, but right. you want something. You want some It's gonna be styling. like your, your first set of wheels. Exactly, like your first set of wheels, or if like you're, you're getting into drifting or something like that, and you're busting up wheels or something, that these are gonna be something that are probably gonna hold up to it, but they're yeah. also not, you're not gonna be like, crying about that you smoked it into right, a curb right. It's not that like big that. of a deal if you gotta pick up another exactly. one. Okay, so the first wheel on this list in our budget-friendly category, so these are wheels under a grand, is the ESR SR08. Now this is a super simplistic design, you know, it has nice concave if you get something with a decent offset on it. And like we said, this is a wheel that looks pretty good on anything. It's kind of aggressive, I'd say more of like a sportier look rather than like a luxury look or Definitely. anything like that. But uh, yeah, they're affordable and they look cool. They come in a bunch of different sizes and colorways. So that's awesome too. Mm -hmm. So the second wheel on the list that's coming in for like the affordable entry level market under $1,000 would be the Option Lab R716. Now we've seen these wheels kind of blow up in popularity yeah, a little bit throughout the last years with the introduction of the FRS and BRZ86 platforms. Now I know like these are very popular wheels mm -hmm. for these platforms, which is another reason why they are such a popular wheel, why they're out there, why we're seeing them more and, and then, more. You get it in a couple different colors, yep. not crazy amount of sizing. There's only, I believe it's only a 17 and 18 inch sizing. Probably but with keep 18, it affordable. Yep, and, but with an know. 18 by nine and a half, the plus 35 offset, it's a perfect size for the 86 platforms. All right, so next up on the list is, we gotta mention it when we're talking about affordable wheels, the XXR 527. And this is a wheel, again, you see on all different types of cars. They're kind of like a thin spoke design. Mm -hmm. Um, come in a bunch of wide sizes so you can get a crazy, you know, concave on those wheels too. And they're super affordable. So coming at number four on our list would be the new kid on the block as far as like this year for like 2019, like late 2018. And that would be the Kansei KNP. Now yes. we've seen a huge amount of like, like questions and people mm -hmm. just absolutely love the KMP. It's that simple, big, five-spoke design. You What's can the get wheel it. that looks like Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Patrick wheel. What's the bronze wheel on the wall behind yeah, us? Yep. Yeah, like that's the one. We always get questions on it. So it's like just that super basic, but like awesome design. So what's cool about the KMPs, however, is they're under a grand, they're right under a thousand dollars, right around the $900 mark. They're more designed for the JDM market, of course, right, right. but they are flow form wheels. So they are a lightweight, strong wheel that isn't over a thousand dollars, which is pretty crazy. So it's a cool yeah. design. You get some really nice finishes. They do some crazy stuff with their finishes and then you're getting that awesome design. For the affordable bracket here that we're talking about, I think this is my favorite wheel on the list. Definitely. I love the KMP. It looks so cool and like, Jels was saying a lot of the drift guys are running them and yep. it's a great wheel overall. So number five on the list is a good one because you're gonna get some of that brand name action with this. Sure. The Koenig Hypergram. Oh, definitely. So Koenig makes some really cool wheels and the Hypergram's an affordable one. It's really cool because it's flow form, so you got that strength in there and Koenig's a big brand name. Pretty much if you've shopped around for wheels, you've heard of Koenig. And I like the look of this one. This is another thin spoke design, kind of mesh inspired mm -hmm. face. So another benefit to these two is that they're lightweight, which is awesome for the track. It'd be a great wheel if you want to autocross and stuff like that at an affordable price. But uh, let's move on to our next bracket. Definitely. So the next bracket we have is our medium to intermediate tier. Now these are gonna be wheels that are ranging anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 for a set. Now that's what we're talking about. I don't think we mentioned that, but it is for a set of yeah, four. Right, right, correct. So, and looking at like 18 inch wheels with like nine width. Yeah, nine 18 by nine, nine and a half is kind of like the standard that we're basing our pricing yeah. around. So if it's like, we're not obviously talking about 24s like 20, here, okay? 20 by 12 <laughs> might be, oh, it's like $1,200, it's not $900. Yeah. Well, it's like, Normal. Our, we're going general size here. <laughs> general 18 size. by nine, yeah. nine and a half around there. That's where these wheels are priced off yeah. of. So the first wheel we have up on our intermediate or medium tier list from $1,000 to $2,000 
is none other than the Cosmos XC206R. Now this is a fantastic wheel if you're looking to get into like an intermediate and pretty much any of the Cosmos market, but the yeah. 206R is one that like really stands out. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing to note about this wheel, however, is the split six spoke design. It's got, you know, a good amount of lip on it. The colors are just absolutely yeah. phenomenal. You got like the, colors. you get into like the hyper bronze and yeah. like the hyper red and stuff like that. They're really, yep, right behind me actually, the hyper bronze. <laughs> they really start to pop and they're crazy colors. It's more like a brushed finish, but they're super like reflective. They're they super look glossy. Awesome. Yeah. One thing to do, keep in mind with the 206R, however, is like, they look really good mm -hmm. with a lower offset. Yeah. However, when you get up into like the, the not so aggressive offsets, like the spokes like tend to stick out a little yeah. more and yeah, it looks I a little, it you. looks a little goofy. It so almost if you're, changes the look of the it wheel It does, entirely. it really does. Yeah, so, so. If, you're, if you're looking at running like a nine and a half with like a plus 35, it's gonna look a little different. So like make sure if you're looking at it, like actually kind of see, you can hop over to the gallery, we have pictures. Yeah, check it out on the yeah. gallery. You can see a ton of people around. So we have pictures of them with their, where they're kind of looking like what we're talking about. But with like a plus 22, or I think they even go down to like a plus 15 offset, they look really, yeah. really good. Yep, definitely. Those, I love XT206Rs. I've been trying to talk my girlfriend into buying them <laughs> forever now. And uh, yeah, those ones, real good. Real nice. The second wheel on this list is gonna be the Rotiform RSE, which if you remember, uh, Jasper used to have on back in the day on his Beamer. So. Yeah. Those were the Jasper wheels. The like Jasper <laughs> wheels, yeah. So these are a super common wheel. We see them everywhere. Uh, Rotiform makes a ton of sweet designs, but in this price range, the RSE is a great and super popular option. Mm -hmm. It's something we see a lot of people running and picking up. Yeah. Um, that, <clears throat> I think I've said this so many times, but that's another wheel. It goes so well on so many different yeah, vehicles. We, we see it a lot, even on like the newer body style Mustangs yeah, and stuff yeah. too. It's like, I think people really like, because like the RSE is one of those ones where you got like the cover that covers like the lugs mm -hmm. and everything like that. So it kind of gives it that like center lock sure. kind of look to it. So it's a little bit different. It's really clean and that, yeah, and they do fit literally everything. And they offer a huge amount of sizes too. So. Definitely. So coming in at number three on the intermediate list would be none other than the Koenig Ampliform. Now this is another wheel from Koenig. Koenig made it on both sets or like the entry level and the intermediate. So with the Ampliform, you do get a good amount of like concavity with the design. Yeah. You get that cool like split spoke design, yeah. multi-spokes design Very towards cool the end of it. Wheels. And I mean, and it's, it's a common trend with I think the wheels that we're talking about is why they're so popular is because they do fit so many different mm -hmm. cars. And then you get the, the finishes are really nice. You get that, yeah. they have that, that bronze or the copper. Yeah, That's they look a really, really nice good. finish. Really so I mean, good. all in all, like the Ko Koenig's doing it right with the Ampliform. So the next one on the list, now this is a heavy hitter and heavy it's hitter. not heavy at all the nk rpf1 <laughs> the most was, iconic so wheel cheesy. yeah cheesy uh, cheesy jokes from a game all right that's what i do gels if you haven't learned it by now i don't know if you're ever gonna learn it that's true. but the rpf1 what's there even to say about it we've beat it to death everyone in the world has beat it to death it's a super lightweight wheel has a very nice design. Some people dislike them. I like the way they yeah. look. I, I think mean, they only dislike them because they're so calm. I was gonna say, you see them on everything. Yep. So, I mean, if you're going for something that's like, I don't wanna look like everyone else, RPF1 might not be the best option for you. But if you're just looking for something that performs well mm -hmm. and isn't gonna break the bank, the RPF1, like that is the RPF1. Right, so we, like 1500 bucks and you get a set in RP, or like, an average set of yeah. RPF ones. Evo 10 RPF ones is like my favorite. I, I, I can't I tell it. you how light they are. Like we work with wheels obviously, so lifting wheels all around and stuff. And then it's like every single time lift wheel, lift wheel, <laughs> I grab the RPF one, I'm like, whoa, holy <laughs> shit. Like, you know, yeah. like it's light as hell. It really is. Yeah. And it, it's iconic. It's an iconic wheel. It'll be around for a long time. Yep. Whether you like it or not, that's what it's gonna be. And then coming in hot at the end of this list for the intermediate, is the Work Emotion D9R. I love these wheels. So that's, that's like really cutting it close. And again, yeah. it's like one of those things with like the sizes were like an 18 by nine and a half or something around there. Yeah. It's falling right around like $1,900 for a set of four. So you can actually get into a set of work wheels for mm -hmm. not too insanely expensive. So the D9R, it's like, a little bit of an older style, I would say. You get like, it's like a convex face. Mm -hmm. Like the spokes do fall back from like where the bolt or like the, the hub would sit. Yeah, but yep. that offers like a really deep lip to it. The D9R is still for those people that still want that deep lip. It's not a step lip. It is just a regular uh, lip on there. So it's a really good solid choice. You're getting the work name, which is a huge yeah, that's, uh, name, obviously. Yep. So it's like when you when you drop it, oh yeah, I'm running some works on Yeah, I got works on my whip. Yeah, you know exactly. <laughs> So it's like for right around $1,900 to get a set into a set of work wheels, you can't go wrong. All right, Gels, 
we're at the top of the mountain. These are the dream wheels. These are the wheels that you are definitely not picking up and putting on your first car unless uh, you got heavy pockets. Yeah. Okay. These are, these are some uh, pricey boys, but you'll eventually work your way up. You'll save up your money and you'll probably get one of these someday. Number one on the list, we got to bring it up. The Volk TE37. Yes. Yes. Classic, iconic, you know, everybody knows them. Tons of people run them and it's for good reason. Mm -hmm. They're super aggressive style wheel. They're great for the track. They look phenomenal. The, the simplicity of them, yet looking so good is what's cool. You can get them in a bunch of different yep. colors actually, which is really cool. You're gonna be paying a pretty penny for them, but mm -hmm. they're worth it. I mean, if you wanna show your car, they look great for it. If yep. you wanna track your car, perfect. That's what they're meant for. So coming in number two on the list, obviously kind of following that same like mentality of the list that we've been following with like the TE37, it's like those iconic wheels that are like your dream wheels. Number two would have to be the Work Meister. Now, of course, these things are like literally everywhere and they look so good on like every car. I Common love them trend on again. Stance cars. On stance I cars, they look amazing. Like cars. there's a guy in Wisconsin that's running them on a, like a SRT4 Neon. Yeah. On yeah. freaking like three piece work Meisters and they look absolutely fantastic. Yeah. It's like, it's one of those wheels that it's like, they they, they function really good. I feel like they look amazing. They look good on yeah, like a variety a of cars. Yeah, they're the car community. Exactly. It, it, it's another classic, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. remember that we're in that top tier. These are dream wheels for people. Yeah. You know, these like are where you're spending three, a lot of 3, money. $3,600, $4,000 yeah. and up. Yeah. And up and up and up, depending on what you want to do. Yeah. So with the BBS LM, that's a multi-piece, obviously, with the nice mm -hmm. mesh face. You see these all over GTIs, yep. Golfs. And if Golf not bars, those exact know. wheels, something yeah. that looks like yeah. those yeah. exact very, wheels. Very like. similar, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, they're awesome. They look amazing. Obviously, BBS has been in the game for a long time, so they they have an astounding quality to their wheels. Yeah. Moving on to the fourth wheel of the list, of the high tier list, has to be the SSR Professor SP3. Ooh, those are Such solid a wheels. good looking yeah. wheel. Again, we see that multi-piece comes with the multi-piece price, comes with the SSR price. You know, SSR wheels are, I've always loved them. Mm -hmm. Personally, I think they look super, super good. Like yeah. I've seen FRSs on them. I've seen like E36s on them and they just look so amazing. So with the SP3, it's like one of those, another iconic wheels. It's got the multi-spoke, or it's got the multi-spoke design. It's a multi-piece wheel. They look amazing. You yeah. get the customization of it. And it's just one of those wheels that's like you see and you kind of fall in love with. Mm -hmm. And then if like, you just hope one day one day you can just pick up a set of SSRs. All right, that was the last wheel in this uh, dream wheel category. This one was just kind of for fun. Yeah. It's different, I love it, it's super cool. It's the 7K Nika S. Oh, is that, that's the it's flower like the, one, the right? The flower yeah. one, yeah. It's, it's such a unique design, it looks insane. And I wanted to put it on the list, even though it's not popular, like I haven't seen this wheel much out in the right. wild. But I wouldn't imagine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want it to be more prominent yeah, though in the car scene. I want to see more people doing stuff like this because it's so crazy and out there. Mm -hmm. I understand it's not for everybody. Definitely not for everybody. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a very specific, specific style. Yeah. yeah, the right type of person has to have the right type of car. Mm -hmm. This is a wheel that will not look good on any <laughs> car. You cannot just slap this on your car and it's like, oh, nice. No, yeah. no, definitely need the right setup for this. But if you pull it off, it looks amazing and it like you're breaking necks. Mm -hmm. You know, people see that and they're like, what in the hell was that wheel, right. you know, like, and I don't know, it's just a super cool design, so I wanted to throw it in there. With these wheels, sometimes like, you gotta wait, you gotta wait for them to be made. Mm -hmm. And it's, sometimes people just don't wanna wait for that too, so yeah, it's like, yeah, you know, like you said, they're not for everybody, mm -hmm. but they are super neat, so I'm glad they made the list. Sure. If you haven't already, check in the description, we'll put a link to a bunch of these wheels. You can check over all the wheels that we have available over at fitmentindustries.com. Make sure to check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we actually, every wheel on this list besides the 7K, we actually have over at Fitment Industries. Yep. You can actually pick up like work three piece, like work yeah. Meisters yeah. on our website. They're actually like, like pre assembly You just go ahead and like pick the size that you need. Like there, there's like pages Definitely. of like if the exact size. are like, so. well, Gels, I don't have five grand right now this very second. Maybe check out those ESR SR08s. We got those on the website too. Yeah. You can check out all the different finishes. We got them all in each different tier, the price for you. So go over, take a look and check them out.
Definitely. I think that's going to wrap it up for today. If there's some that you think that like, hey, why didn't you guys mention these? Like, come on, man. Like the Workmeisters, like you could have said this other wheel. You could have, you know, done yeah. like that. Drop it down in the comments below. We're always curious. like, you're always like looking to see what people are really yeah. digging like right now in the car scene. But I think it's going to wrap it up for today. The wheel starts with suspensionfitmentindustries.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Please. I'm Jules from Fitment Industries. And I'm Dakota from Fitment Industries. And we'll see you later.